Haribol, namaste and welcome to Sadhna, the Inward Path. Our program today looks at food. Food for the body and food for the soul. So sit back and sap up the offering as we heat things up in the kitchen with a visit to the newly refurbished Food for Life kitchen in Chatsworth and prepare a refreshing green smoothie. We then nourish our soul with some inspiration from Pandit Chunilal Narayan and burn off all those calories with a trip to laid back Port Elizabeth for a visit to the Hindu Seva Samaj. Food for Life is the largest vegetarian food relief program in the world. And right here in South Africa, thousands of meals are served daily to the destitute and impoverished. This noble seva captures the very essence of Manava seva is Madhava seva. Service to man is service to God. The Durban South Branch recently launched its refurbished kitchen and Sadhna was there. <laughs> Food for Life Durban South is affiliated with Food for Life uh, SA and uh, we fall under Food for Life which is Food for Life Global, the largest uh, vegetarian uh, food relief program in the world and we at uh, Food for Life Durban South are feeding 5,000 plates of food uh, daily in the Durban, Greater Durban area. We had this kitchen for the last 20 odd years. It has been old, it's been deteriorating with time. Thanks to the kind generosity of Rising Sun, Mr. Vijay Maraj, who came here one day and noticed the conditions that we work under. And with him, this company, they took it upon themselves with his various donors in uh, commemoration for Madiba's uh, legacy to revamp our kitchen. And today we are here to officially reopen this kitchen and relaunch it. Rising Sun had actually decided to take this on as their Madiba Day project. So in a two weeks period, we had our whole kitchen broken down, revamped and given back to us. There were days when I stood here looking at everything and thinking, my God, what have they done to our kitchen? But this is the end result. Our involvement for Food for Life was purely a Mandela Day project. With the passing away of Mandela, you know, less than a year ago, uh, we thought, you know, we must latch onto some project, probably in Chatsworth, and we had visited this um, kitchen, and we found that there was a need for a refurbishment of this kitchen, because this particular kitchen, Food for Life, Durban South, feeds thousands of children, school children, daily, and um, there was a need to refurbish revamp, retile, uh, do the electrical lighting, sinks, wash area and so on. And um, hence we thought, uh, you know, Mandela being close to children in his day and this particular kitchen feeding a number of school children, it would have been the ideal project for us to latch on to. When we chatted with some of the people and uh, that worked here, we came before we started renovating, we saw the conditions they worked in. Um, virtually the floors used to be full of water. Uh, people used to work with gum boots because the, the uh, wash area was within the kitchen. Um, they didn't have tables to work on, they used to work on pot lids. Um, that's when we decided, you know what, they should have proper work areas. Uh, and. Uh, and we started the whole project. We walked in here and we were quite taken aback to see the number of people working in such confined space, um, uh, ref uh, preparing meals at this kitchen and with limited resources. And hence we thought, this is a deserving project and this is a project that deserves a bit of a boost and upliftment. When we came in here, um, we were here just to do minor renovations. But uh, as time went on, we found 
that it just couldn't be minor renovations. We want to increase our feeds from 5,000 to possible 8,000 a day and they all, thereafter um, bring on board smaller kitchens in different areas that don't run kitchens and assist them to basically feed in their areas. Our main focus is on the schools, the school kids, because the biggest challenge as it is the education and the other challenge obviously is hunger. So it's having both these issues, it's really a problem. So we try to alleviate one of them by making sure that the kids have a uh, are well nourished like that so they can concentrate on their studies like that. That was actually the vision of Madiba himself, the late Madiba himself, to make sure that the kids are, are well fed and nourished and they can get a proper education so that they can sustain themselves in long term. ready to go and cook once again and serve the nation. You can see that poverty has no uh, barriers in terms of race, creed, it affects everybody and it's the onus of everybody to get involved and to assist like that. So as the late Madiba would have said, that, you know, it's important that we as a nation help one another. So like that we do not see a person as an Indian or a, or a white or African or a Christian or a Muslim, we see each person as a human being.